So now we're in Barbara's room. We checked out. Now we're seeing who Barbara Finch was and get right into it. Growing Should be up, interesting. I always thought of Barbara as a child star. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Oh, uh, so she died and I guess uh, some people uh, benefited from her death by uh, making scary stories about it. So let's, uh, let's see what this 10 cent dreadful story from 1961 has to say about her death. Here we go. Old Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it The Surprise Ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her screen. Now at 16, she was all washed up has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <gasps> mm, getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. They'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. He reached for the music box. Okay, so cool. It looks like I can interact with the uh, comic store and obviously you know the key is in there so um yeah it's, it's turning almost into a scary story now which is really cool I love anything scary so let's uh let's see what let's see what we come into let's see what happens and as she wound the key she listened for Rick but the house was silent this is so cool. Oh man, that's so cool to interact with a comic. Okay. Uh. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. I kind of want to just go through and knock everything over. Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who 
impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're... She threw him out. But she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, we're dead, Walter. Alright, let's go check on Walter. Kind of looking around to see if there's anything I might miss. Okay. six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity i returned saw the hook man and was speechless <laughs> Let me guess, he's not the killer, he's actually her um, boyfriend or whoever was trying to uh, get her to scream. Maybe, maybe not. Let's, uh, let's go downstairs and find out. But apparently she does get killed. I'm guessing. I'm not sure. The hook man had vanished. Oh, okay. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was.
dying to speak to young Barbara. Hmm, I can't see anybody. At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. Okay. <laughs> I'll come to surprise her. For Barbara, it was a dream come true. Then she saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard, but that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. <laughs> what? The ear. Now, I wonder what really happened. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was, maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Oh, I wonder what really happened to her. Wow, that was, uh, that was kind of sad, actually. I guess I'm gonna. I guess now I know why mom doesn't like me playing with the music box. Uh, I can go out right here. Alright. Well, it looks like I'm gonna go to the music box now, maybe. Because I'm sure this is still. Yeah, that's locked. It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Actually, real quick, I'm going to see if I can go back into um, Edie's room, possibly. I wonder if that comic was right about there being a key inside the music box near the basement. Uh, I guess not. I was going to see if I could get to Odin's story since I, uh, I skipped that one, but mm, I'm guessing not. But I'll try real quick if I go back through. Um, can I go back into Barbara's room? Let's see how I get out. Okay, well. Okay. Maybe I should go check out that music box down by the basement. I know, I know. Yeah, I, I don't see how to uh, get back, so I'm gonna go back down to the basement.
Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Hmm. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Oh, wow. Okay. Asking mom once about where Walter had gone. Okay. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Wow. So if there's a pattern in all these stories. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Walter. Oh, is Walter's ring down here? Holy crap. Did he just come down here and live? I wonder if anybody knew. Oh man, yeah, it's like Evie brought food down for him or something. That's so crazy. Well, let's find out about Walter. 1952 to 2005. That is, let's see, that's, uh, it's like, what, 53 years? Something like that? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that there first day, is. after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you'll be used to anything. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. And then one day, everything just stopped. 2005, wow. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while well, I still can. I know it's out there, somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. And Molly. And 
Calvin. Dang, so he believes it is a monster that killed Molly, Barbara, and Calvin. Even though it was almost like a Molly and Calvin's. Maybe not. Uh, maybe we'll find out what it is. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. So he was down there all that time, and apparently he dug his way out, and, um, got ran over by a train. It's, it's crazy, but at least he died semi-happy, I guess. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Trying to bury something that's still alive. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the stream here. Um, so there is a that was Barbara and Walter. So yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.